Captain Sparrow of the 187th stands alone before a single tank, the last ATTE at the disposal of the 187th troopers. Inside it, three senators trying to be captured by the separatists. The 187th must hold this ATTE at all costs. Yo, what's going on gamers? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, and today we're back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War Mod, and today we're going to be using the 187th to defend a single lone ATTE against a battle droid invasion. So, uh, we have like 60 or so clone troopers on the ground defending the ATTE, and then obviously we have the ATTE fully crewed. Um, the clones also have a few of these uh, beam turrets, uh, a couple of these uh, 50 millimeters, I believe they're called, and then a couple of these mortars as well. Um, and then we've got these funky guns. I don't really know what they're called. They're like primitive e-web turrets almost. Uh, but they've got a bunch of ground weapons to use, and they're blockading themselves using their LAAT gunships here. But the droids are attacking with a pretty mighty force. They've got B2 uh, super battle droids, uh, standard B1 battle droids, dwarf spiders, and some AAT tanks, plus about 200 or so soldiers here. So this will be a pretty intense fight. It's a simple battle, but I feel like we haven't done really much simple battles recently, so I feel kind of good about doing this one. I think it'll be pretty fun to just sort of go back to the basics of Star Wars Galaxy War Mod. You know what I mean? Either way, guys, if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. Let's try and get 900 likes in the first 24 hours that feels doable and it seriously helps me out in the algorithm uh, Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're working our way towards 400k and we are real close, baby We're at 375 not too shabby and uh, comment down below any video ideas you guys have for me either way guys without further ado Let's get it going What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Meta of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel all right then gamers let's actually real quick just move uh captain sparrow over here bea beautiful baby and we'll go in slow-mo for the first bit of this battle and press start so the battle droid army begins to move forward and the clones begin to fire out immediately bazookas launching out against them uh super battle droids sending out wrist rockets as well i'm actually a little bit surprised that the um clones started firing immediately in this battle they're pretty far away from the super battle droids and the the standard b1 battle droids uh, to the point where i think that they wait a little bit longer to actually start firing and be a little bit more accurate that tends to be what happens in this mod but i guess uh you know they're they're eager to get this defense started right away so we've got a whole lot of aats coming on forward yet to see much shots from these guys uh but it is still early in the battle i think a lot of these laats are blocking any good shots that they might potentially have uh to make against the attte out there the attte itself is firing away a good bit and in fact uh, I believe it just took out the AAT out there. Sorry, this is an ATT. <laughs> Was I calling this an AAT? Might be, might be. There's a lot of A's, there's a lot of T's. It gets a little complicated out here in a galaxy far, far away. You know what I'm saying? Um, either way, we do have a bunch of 187th troopers going down here. It is real, real rough. We can see the um, 187th trooper in the 50 millimeter reloading the gun a little bit there and uh, then maybe calibrating its next shot, which is kind of cool to see. Um, um, mortar should be firing as well. I wonder if these are the mortar craters. Usually they don't look like that Maybe the mortars aren't firing yet I actually don't really see much in terms of mortar shots right now So I'm not sure what to make of that bazooka shot does impact the ATTE out in the distance doesn't really result in too much The battle droid army is pretty scattered out there right now um, they don't have a lot of vehicles left. They do have one of these dwarf spiders that seems to be covering fire and another dwarf spider over here looking this way. Not doing too much. It's 
definitely going to be down to the infantry here, but I made sure to give the droid infantry a whole lot of bazookas on this battlefield so that they can take out the last remaining ATTE if need be. Oh, apparently this AAT went down at some point. I really didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> might be, might be. Um, well, uh, I guess it, it is what it is, boys. Number of uh, 187 troopers over here going down on the battlefield. It is a bit of a slaughter for both sides currently, but the 187th is definitely holding a lot stronger. These LATs working their magic in terms of cover, most definitely. By the way, guys, I've been getting a lot of people asking me if I've seen the latest book of Boba Fett and what I thought. I have not yet seen it. I am uh, waiting to watch it because, um, I, well, quite frankly, I just haven't had time to recently. Um, so I am still waiting to watch it. Hopefully, I'll see it uh, in the next day or so. But please don't spoil it. I, I've seen a lot of spoilers, which really irked me. Literally, on Twitter, I sometimes open up my Twitter and just kind of flick through it. Someone at like 12.30 a.m., so, you know, a half an hour after the episode came out or whatever it was, you know, um, commented a spoiler. Like, come on, give people at least an opportunity to watch it before you start spoiling it on the internet. It, it just irks me so much. People are so spoiler, like, prone these days on the internet. Like, you can get hit by a spoiler and you, you don't even look. I remember when I was watching, um, or wanted to go watch Endgame in theaters with my friends. We weren't able to get tickets for the first day it came out, so we had to wait one day. And so I went to the bathroom. I remember this, because I was in the history department. I used to work as the secretary to the University of Massachusetts Amherst history department while I uh, went to school there. And so I was at the history department bathroom. I went to go to the bathroom, take a leak. I, I stand in front of the uh, in front of the urinal and someone wrote on the stall it's now been like what three years so this is not a spoiler at all Tony Stark dies <laughs> and I was just livid I was like are you kidding me I literally got spoiled and I hadn't been on the like I purposely didn't go on the internet at all at all so I wouldn't have to be prone to any spoilers by the way we're gonna bump this up a speed here uh, and let the droids really go wild here that's a lot of rocket shots of course none of them are pointed at the ATTE over here I don't know what they're doing um, so yeah it seems like people really just enjoy ruining other people's fun with spoilers so please guys just chill with spoilers don't don't give any away just you know <laughs> let people watch the show I, I think a, an appropriate amount of time to we wait is like one week you know, give people a week to at least watch the show, and then after a week, it's kind of like, okay, they probably have seen it, and if they haven't, they clearly don't care that much about it, you know? Ah, uh, there goes the dwarf spider droid right there. That's the last dwarf spider. It is truly up to the droid infantry. I will say the droids probably have like 60 or 70 infantry troopers right here, and a lot of bazookas. We certainly know that. So, the droids definitely do have a good shot at winning this thing still, it's just going to be a little bit tougher. We're going to go in normal speed here for the final bit of this battle. This mortar is crazy, actually. That is a crazy mortar. This is a brand new mortar that was just added to the game, and it looks so cool. This is actually the first time we've ever seen this new variant of mortar fire. And I have to say, I love that. That is a Star Wars mortar right there. It always has been a bit weird that, like, oh, mortars uh, in the mod are literally just, like, World War II mortars. Um, you know, a high-explosive shell sort of mortar. But this is, like, a true laser Star Wars mortar. That is so cool. I actually really, really enjoy how they did that in this game. That is that is actually so sick. Props to the Galaxy of War devs for pulling another dope feature into the game. What a bunch of chads. Uh-oh, these droids are so clustered right here. I don't know why they're getting so clustered in this exact spot, but they really, really are. And if that mortar aims just a little bit more towards the middle, all of these droids are going down, dude, without a doubt. They, they will all be blown up in just a literal instant here. Now, I did actually run this uh, mission a few times, and uh, just before I went ahead and did the go-ahead, usually I... What I do is I press start on the battle, I let it run in the background while I do other things, and then I come and just look at the result and see, like, okay, what happened? Um, and then rebalance it that way. But the, the times I did it, actually, almost every time, the ATTE ended up going down. There was a couple times where it didn't, but most of the time it did. And it seems like we're in one of those rare instances where the clones actually managed to stop the droids from stopping it. Most of the time what happened was the ATTE would blow up, 
but the clones would defeat the droids. That's what usually happened, but in this instance, it's very clear that right now the, the clones are winning on all parts of the battlefield. They'll probably keep this ATTE alive, um, and they'll probably manage to defeat these droids. I don't know, dude. Ooh, this turret got updated too. It didn't use to fire so vigorously with its side gun. That's actually crazy. This thing got a massive buff on the battlefield. That's so cool. Not sure how powerful it is, but it seems to be doing okay at... You know, licking these droids with a little bit of fire right there. That's not too bad. Ooh, big mortar shot right there. That one, that one definitely got a few kills. That one got a few Ks on 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 its plate right there. The E5 droids firing away. The E5s also got a buff in the battlefield, so they're not completely useless anymore. They do manage to do a little bit. All right, we are going to go ahead and squat up the last remaining droids here, um, giving them a little bit of an opportunity to maybe strike out together as a force instead of trickling in one at a time. So we're going ahead and doing that and seeing if these final Roger, droids Roger. manage to do anything. I think maybe they're clustering up right here because this is the one angle that they can't really get shot at. The clones over here, dead for the most part. There's two, but they're covered by the LAAT wing. The clones over here, dead except for one, but he's covered by this LAAT. So they're not able to get shot through those avenues. And then obviously there's these two big LAATs right there stopping them from getting hit. So... I think the droids are actually very strategic in their grouping up right here to prevent themselves from getting shot too much, but also putting themselves in a position like this allows the mortar to fire at them and doesn't allow them to take shots very easily at the enemy. So it's a bit of a dual-edged sword to do that. Ooh. All right, the uh, shields are now officially down for the ATTE. It's continuing to get struck by bazooka fire right here. Uh, and the droids are literally like threading the needle through these LATs to hit the feet of the ATTE and potentially destroy it. So actually, maybe the ATTE will end up going down in this video, which would be kind of crazy here. The mortar is trying to get some shots off at these droids here, um, but it's just not really going their way. ATTE re reacting a little bit there, getting a few shots off. Uh, more rockets striking out at it. It is now on fire. I repeat, the ATTE is now on fire. Oh, yikes, bro. Oh, and there she goes. ATTE actually ends up going down on the battlefield here. So the 187th has technically lost their mission. They failed in their mission here to keep the ATTE alive, which is kind of crazy. All right, let's go into fast speed here. Droids seem to be just chilling, but here we go. Now they're kickstarting the battle yet again. So now it's really just a, a matter of seeing, do the clone troopers manage to win the rest of the battle? I think that thing just got silenced right there by that bazooka shot. I think that thing is down for the count. Is the beam turret still alive? Nope, that is down too. Both mortars still alive and this thing's still alive though. So the clones do still have some heavy weaponry. Uh, but clearly these bazooka troopers for the droids have been coming in clutch and uh, could potentially defeat those heavy weapons pretty easily. Mortars still striking down. I am loving those mortars. I really, really love those mortars right there. Uh, but it seems all quiet on the western front yet again here as things settle down once again. So let's go in fast speed here. See what ends up going down. One droid sort of crawling its way forward and gets a little... Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this thing back to life? <gasps> it is! What the heck? Wow, this thing's still alive again. That's crazy. It also has 60 kills, so that thing has done some work. How many kills do the mortars have, actually? Wait, this DC-19 trooper has one kill. This thing has 61 kills, two vehicle kills. Uh, this mortar has 76 kills. This guy has eight kills. This trooper has three. This trooper has two. This trooper has three. This trooper has seven. This trooper has one. This trooper has three. This trooper has 22! And this trooper has three. This trooper has one. This trooper has four. Uh, this trooper has none. This trooper has five. This trooper has five. This trooper has four. This trooper has two. This trooper has ten and one vehicle kill. Dude, these clones are actually so good. This has one. This has one. This has none. This has none. This thing has no kills, actually. And this mortar has one kill. A bit weaker on this side. But god dang, a lot of these clones are veterans. That's actually insane clones doing work on this battlefield we do only have about a squad and a half of droids left let's go ahead and fast motion yet again see if they do move forward okay they creep on forward a little bit here and they're getting hit by the mortar yet again pretty crazily this mortar is definitely uh knocking these guys down 
Um, yeah, we are once again down to one squad here, and they are getting slaughtered. We're just doing it in fast motion because they are clearly going to die. Yep. Bye 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 clone troopers. <laughs> or sorry, battle droids. Yeah, they, um... They did not end up doing all too hot at the end of the day. The droids end up getting pretty slaughtered here. And the clones managed to technically win the battle but lose their mission because the, the, the tank here ended up going down. So not fantastic at all, really. Um, either way, guys, that is going to be about it for me today. Um, I, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. I thought this was a this was a pretty cool one, uh, a bit more back to basics. But I still think that is actually pretty fun sometimes to just go back to basics. Uh, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment on down below any future videos you would like to see on the channel. Either way, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.